Hello guys and welcome to a new video after a very long time and to be exact after 6 months from my last tips and tricks video back in season 7 I'm back with some more tricks many players requested more of this series but sadly there weren't many tips that are worth sharing but I really hope you guys will find these ones useful let's get started We're gonna kick off this video with two platform tips that can help you survive the massacre that happens in this place. The first tip will allow you to get on top of the platform easily using the side zipline. Now most players would climb like this, which of course works but it's risky and slow. And sometimes you will struggle to get on top. So here's what you need to do. First of all, make sure you're on this side of the platform, not the opposite side. Make sure your joystick is pointed forward at 12 o'clock and keep it like that. Now right before you reach the end of it, press the deattach button and then the jump button right after it as fast as possible. This is how it looks in normal speed. So basically you will be able to double jump and as I mentioned this will allow you to climb faster gaining the most strategical place in the platform and the high ground advantage. Also with this trick you will be able to avoid any traps placed by the enemy and in case there is an enemy waiting for you they will have less time to react. The second tip is pretty common these days and it takes place on the opposite side of the platform. So you can go to the secret spot right here in case you need it to run away or maybe surprise your enemies especially against thirsty squads. They will chase you wherever you go but they won't expect you to be hiding here if you love sniping and if you love exotic arctic i have a guaranteed way for you to get it in every single game you play and i'm not talking about the airdrops if you go to the sanitarium and enter from the main door you will find it to your left and it will always be there in every game keep in mind that this trick works in season 13 and they might fix it in the next seasons I got asked about this in many of my gameplay videos. How do you park like this without destroying the helicopter? It's simple. Choose a building that isn't too high like this one right here and make sure you're flying at full speed. Now get as close as possible to the roof of the building then click the exit button. Again make sure that the joystick is always pointed at 12 o'clock. There are many benefits to this trick. First of all you get the high ground. Second of all you get to engage faster compared to the normal landing. Also if you land normally you will be an easy target for the enemy and they will be able to damage your helicopter or even destroy it before you land. And and finally the helicopter can act as a deco so when you land like this you will drop right where you click the exit button but the helicopter will land ahead of you therefore tricking your enemies into thinking that you're still next to it which will give you a chance to surprise them Sorry for the quality of this clip but I got it from Facebook and I wanted to give full credit to the player who came up with this trick. He goes by the name SkinnyBot and even though it's an efficient way to counter defender users it's more of a show off and a bit hard to execute as it needs perfect timing. This trick is self explanatory. All you need is a snowboard then just hit the jump button as soon as the enemy deploys his shield which will disable the stun coming from it. This is more of a fun trick but it's a bit practical. So instead of just sitting there waiting in the lobby before the game starts, try to search for an NA45 sniper rifle. Now choose one of the enemies and hit him with one bullet only just to mark him. After boarding the plane, keep checking on the backside and wait until the enemy you mark jumps off the plane. As you can see he's still marked with the same bullet I shot in the lobby and he will remain like that even after he lands on the ground. This way you get a free legal wall hack. One of the most annoying glitches in the game is the double jump glitch which you can see right here. I get this glitch a lot and in this game I got it 3 times. This glitch will mess up your movement and your hip fire aim at close range which of course can get you killed. Now I don't know what causes it but I know how to fix it and it's simple. All you need to do is just unequip your gun by tapping on it then you can equip it again. And there you go, the glitch is fixed.
As most of you know, after you upgrade the ninja class, your footsteps will be silent and your enemies won't be able to hear you. But there is one class that is considered the perfect counter to the ninja class, and that's the trickster. Even though this class isn't popular among players, I consider it one of the best, especially for solo squads players. Other than the main ability, which allows you to deploy decoys plus a speed buff, the trickster's passive called alert allows you to hear footsteps easier, including ninja users' footsteps. As you can see here, the enemy is using an upgraded ninja class, and I'm using a trickster. Therefore, I was able to hear all his movement including the jumping and sliding. The hearing range goes up to 30 meters. Also, notice that you don't have to upgrade the trickster to get the passive. Another question that I get a lot in the comments is how are you moving fast? I'm a ninja user and my movement is always at normal speed, but there is a class that allows you to move faster which is the Trap Master class. Other than the fact that it's a toxic class, the Trap Master grants you and your teammates a speed buff which can be extremely helpful. And to give you an idea, I'm gonna compare my speed using Medic class and Trap Master class. So we'll see how long it takes me to cover 100 meters with both classes starting with the Medic class. As you can see it took me around 14.24 seconds with the medic class, now moving on to the trap master. So the trap master is one second faster than the other classes. Also remember there is another way to increase your speed using the runner mods. When equipped to your gun this mod will give you a speed boost and you can activate it by opening and closing the scope. And with the help of this mod, I was able to cover 100 meters within 12.6 seconds. Most of you haven't heard about this mod because they haven't released it yet. Well, technically they kind of did, but by mistake. As they added it in Alcatraz map back in season 12, but they removed it right away. Even though this mod was mentioned in the patch notes of season 13, they still haven't added it yet, but I got the chance to test it when I found it in the loot box of one of the bots I killed in Alcatraz. And I'll show you how it works so that you guys are prepared once they release it. So in this example, I have two AK-47s. The main one has the reloader mod equipped to it. Now, check the second AK-47, you will notice that it has 43 out of 50 bullets. And if I wait for 5 seconds, the gun will reload automatically thanks to the reloader mod. The question here, is this mod useful? I mean yes, it can be useful for aggressive players as it will help you have more ammo for longer fights. But there are still better mods that I would use over it. Yet another question that I get a lot is how can you use space in your name? As you know, the game doesn't allow you to use space when you try to change your name. However, there is a symbol that you can use as space, which is the symbol right here. So as you can see here, I wrote ghost followed by the special symbol. Now if I press OK, you will notice that the symbol doesn't show up. Only ghost shows. It will still show in the main menu, but when you enter the game and play, it won't show up. I will provide the symbol in the description and the first comment, so you can copy it from there. But in order for this to work, you must copy the entire name and then change ghost to the name you want. Because if you copy the symbol only, it won't work. This trick can be useful to use names that are already taken. But keep in mind that many players know about this trick and if you try certain names and they don't work, then it means that the name is already taken, even after adding the special character. But if it's taken, then just try to add more special characters to the name and maybe you will get lucky. That was all the tricks in today's video. I hope you guys found it useful and if you do then a like would be highly appreciated the video took hours from me and it only takes one second for you to press the like button thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace